Okay, we've got inverse variation. I've got a, uh, a uh, an ordered pair here, and then I'm looking for y when x equals four. So first thing I'm gonna do is find k. The inverse variation equation is y equals k over x. So if I rewrite that, I multiply both sides by x, x times y equals k. Um, so I'm gonna use the known pair then. I'm plugging in the negative three and the 11. To get k, k is negative 33. Now I'm um, what I'm going to do is solve this. So I'm taking this equation and I'm going to plug the um, the negative 33 in for k. Okay, so there's my inverse equation, and now I'm going to plug in the unknown pair into that. So I'm going to put in four for x. I don't know what um, y is. Well, now I do, right? Y is going to be negative 33 over 4. You could write a, that as a uh, decimal if you want, but there's the y value go that goes with the uh, x value of positive 4. So let's graph this. Um, I'm going to include intercepts and asymptotes. Um, actually, this. Uh, the intercept will be obvious, it's just going to be a y-intercept. But I'm going to um, factor the top of this to see if it will reduce. And you could do a diamond problem here. I'm um, looking for two numbers that add to 3, multiply, or add to 4, multiply to 3. That's going to be um, uh, 1 and 3, right? So this factors into x plus 1 times x plus 3 in the numerator. Then I can do some reducing. The x plus 1s will cancel out. So this equation is very similar to y equals x plus 3, which is just a straight line. But there is one subtle difference, but it's an important difference. If you look at the original equation, I've got a limit to my domain here, which means I can't put in anything I want for x because I can't have a zero denominator. And I've got to take that into account. Um, in the original problem, x plus 1 can't equal 0. So that means that x can't equal negative 1. Okay, so this is a straight line as long as x does not equal negative 1. So what I'm going to do is put a vertical asymptote here at x equals negative 1. It's not really technically going to be a vertical asymptote because asymptotes kind of guide curves. But these um, x values are off limits. That's all of the x values where x is negative 1, or all of the points where x is negative 1. So then I'm just going to graph this line, but when I get to... Um, this dotted line here, I'm going to make an open dot to show that that's not going to be part of my solution. So lucky for me, this is really easy to graph. I've got a y-intercept of 3, and then a slope of 1, so I can go up 1 to the right one, or I could go down 1 to the left one, but since I'm on that line now, I'm going to make an open dot there. But then continue your line on the other side of the, uh, of the gap. So this is going to be a straight line with a hole in it. Okay. So the intercepts, it said include them. Well, they're, they're graphed right there. There's my x and y intercepts. I think I, I meant to just say include any holes in the directions. I'll fix that later. OK, so same kind of deal here. We're going to factor the numerator. And looking for two numbers to add to 5, multiply to 6. Um, can't use a 1 and a 6 because uh, that would put you at 7, right? So I'm going to have to use 2 and 3. Okay, and now the x plus 3's are going to cancel, just in a similar way the x plus 1's cancel on the last problem. So my, this is going to be very similar to the line y equals x plus 2, with the understanding that there's a uh, limit to the domain. x plus 3 can't equal 0, so x can't equal negative 3. So I'm going to put um, a little dashed line at x equals negative 3, that's off limits. And then I'll just graph this line and put a gap when I get to the, uh, the, uh, to this, uh, the pink line there, OK? So y-intercept of 2, slope of 1, up one to the right one, up one to the right one. OK, and I'll go down one to the left one, down one to the left one until I get there to my gap. And I'll continue that on the other side. So anything on this line except where um, x equals negative 3 will work. And that's the end of the warm-up, and I'll see you next time.